So yes, CERN will be running an experiment on April 8th. And you've probably already heard people talking about this because of the idea that this may have something to do with the eclipse on that day. Actually, they'll be busy for the month of April going forward until October. But I want to talk about this because I understand how people are making connections with the eclipse and school closings and deploying the National Guard and telling people to stock up on food and gas. And I think that it is probably better to understand exactly what they are going to be doing at CERN so that we can express our concerns appropriately. I mean, we've been living with CERN experiments for what? Over seven decades now? Unless you were born before the 60s, we've been living with CERN's experiments our entire lives. Folks, you were born into the world of CERN. On April the 8th, right? They are going to fire up CERN so that they can provide particle beams for their unstable ion facility called ISOLD. Guess what? They've been firing up CERN for ISOLD since 1967. That's why I said CERN is a part of life at this point. We have no idea at which points in modern history CERN could have had influence on the Earth. For example, earthquakes. It would be very difficult to look back through all those decades of information to find links with CERN and earthquakes. Because, of course, there is this theory that CERN may have effects on triggering earthquakes as an after effect of running the LHC, for example. Now, since CERN has been around all that time, how come? In its latter years, it's getting our attention. Are we the ones giving them our attention? Or are they the ones looking for it? So, the people in charge of making sure the Large Hadron Collider, the LHC, works smoothly handed over a special key to start it up again. That was on Friday, February 16th, marking the beginning of the 2024 particle season. They're getting the accelerator complex ready to use again, and scientists are excited to start their experiments, so they started up the first part of the machine called Linux 4 a couple of days earlier than planned. They had to do some tricky work during a break to get everything ready. They have to make sure each part of the machine is working perfectly before they start sending particle beams through it. They send beams to the next part of the machine called the PS Booster which had to be ready back on February 21st. Then they started preparing the beams for the next part of the machine, called the SPS, which was set for March 1st. After that, the first beams were set to reach the LHC on March 11th. Here's what they said. The first fixed target physics will start in the PS East area on 22nd of March followed by the PS N underscore TOF facility on the 25th of March. Physics in ISOLD downstream of the PS booster will start on the 8th of April, followed by the SPS North area on the 10th of April. The antimatter factory is set to start delivering antiprotons to its experiments on the 22nd of April. The AWAKE facility behind the SPS will run for 10 weeks in total in blocks of two or three weeks 
until the middle of September, when the dismantling of the no longer used CERN neutrinos to Grand Sasso, the target facility will start to allow for a future extension of the AWAKE facility. The SPS High Radmat facility will see four one-week runs. So when you hear that, or when you read that, what's that supposed to mean to you or me? They are speaking a completely different language. I'll translate. What they are talking about here is the schedule and locations for various physics experiments and their respective facilities at CERN. So they have the fixed target physics in the PS East area. This is a type of particle physics experiment where a stationary target material is bombarded with a beam of particles from an accelerator. The experiment will take place in the PS Proton Synchrotron East area on March 22nd. Then you have this PSN underscore TOF facility which is the Neutron Time of Flight facility. Neutron Time of Flight experiments involve measuring the time it takes for neutrons to travel from a source to a detector. This was scheduled for March 25th. ISOLD stands for Isotope Separator Online Detector. It's a facility downstream of the PS Booster. It's another accelerator. ISOLD is used for producing radioactive isotopes. It's actually an alchemy machine, folks. You can use it to ionize, extract, and separate the nuclei of a particle according to its mass. Then they take these alchemical particles and form them into a beam that they send to other experiments. We're talking about 50 or more experiments in just that facility alone, with a lot of scientists working in that one facility. Okay, so now they start physics work in ISOLD on April 8th. Now on April 10th, the SPS, the Super Proton Synchrotron, which is a larger accelerator ring, those experiments mentioned will take place in the SPS North Area. The Antimatter Factory starts up April 22nd, which is dedicated to producing and studying antimatter, antiprotons in this case. The AWAKE facility is scheduled to run for 10 weeks, which is the Advanced Proton Driven Plasma Wakefield Acceleration Experiment. They investigate new methods of particle acceleration. It will run for a total of 10 weeks, divided into blocks of two or three weeks each, starting sometime in March or April, and continuing until the middle of September. CNGS stands for CERN Neutrinos to Grand Sasso. And this facility was used to generate a beam of neutrinos sent to the Grand Sasso Laboratory in Italy. The dismantling process will begin in the middle of September to make room for a future extension of the AWAKE facility. Then there is the SPS Hyde Rad Mat facility, which stands for High Radiation 2 Materials. They test the effects of high radiation environments on various materials. That will have four separate one-week runs, likely scheduled at different times throughout the year. Now, even after explaining that, that doesn't really mean that we understand what they're doing. But we do know that they are going to be playing around with laser beams and alchemy and radiation and antimatter and I know most of us understand those things. So that is what CERN says they are going to be doing. They're running things right now. They already fired things up. So April 8th could be an opportunity for them to study the atmospheric effects and anomalies that result from an eclipse. 
they did have people at CERN studying the effects of a black hole on our sun when it was lined up with the sun. But the eclipse is over here in the U.S., not above CERN. But I'm sure they still see it as a time where they can reap the most benefits and returns due to that sun, moon, and earth alignment. I mean, who really knows? They're over there. Where do they get these ideas from? Star Trek? They're making forest fields and warp drives and holodecks and particle beam photon torpedoes making deals with aliens or should I say universal alignments with other countries or entities. It is Star Trek in the making over there. Portals. Yeah, a bunch of Star Trek fan scientists. Go watch some Star Trek. None of that would have been possible without CERN. <laughs> I personally think that a lot of what they do there ends up being in vain. Just so that they can say they're working on something. The real power is in the architecture of their machines, their magnets. My concerns are, does the running of their experiments affect or trigger volcanoes, earthquakes, and storms? But the information is varied, so it's hard to determine cause and effect, you see? But they are not saying that their experiments have no effect on the outside world either. So yeah, people are going to continue to look at them cross-eyed. Especially when they intentionally publish things that catch the eye of people like me. And so now, they have our attention. Which is another source of power they use to experiment on. Anyway, that's all for now. I truly appreciate everyone for tuning in today. There is more to come very soon. But until then, have a great day, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.